The American Heritage Museum in Massachusetts has a new exhibit, and it centers on the experiences of prisoners of war that were at the Hanoi Hilton during the Vietnam War. Reporter Todd Kazowicz has more now on what that exhibit will be like for the public to see. So what we have here is really remarkable. We have two original cells from the Hanoi Hilton. These are the only original cells outside of Vietnam that are on public display. Inside the American Heritage Museum in Hudson, a new permanent exhibit is opening up, just in time to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the homecoming of the first American POWs released from Vietnam. Many were imprisoned at Wallow, also known as the Hanoi Hilton. The museum experience includes interviews with some of the American pilots who survived the torturous prison. Every time a damn guard walked out of cell block and around these keys, eight to ten cells break out and sweat. Somebody is going to be dragged out and tortured, and you don't know if it's going to be you. Many of the POWs spent years in solitary confinement in deplorable conditions as the enemy tried everything to break their spirits. There's a speaker on the wall, because they would always be playing propaganda to the, uh, the, the inmates. And then there's a rusty old bucket. That is your latrine. This computer just outside the exhibit allows you to research the POWs and learn more about their stories. And there are some famous faces here, like John McCain. There are some local POWs you can learn about as well, including Timothy Sullivan, who was born in Worcester. The, the part that is the most impressive story to me is how they survived, how they came together, pulled one another up. Even if they couldn't see one another, they would be tapping messages to one another.